finally another video and this one is again another question that's been asked a couple of times this video is about how i color hair and as most of you know my coloring style for hair especially is very boring because it's it's usually just like a base color with very minimal shading but i don't know i mean people are asking me how i do it so here's the video i guess so of course like i said in my last video I tend to color things blue first, you know, to make sure that I don't have any blank pixels. So I'm going to do that first. And you can see just from far away, there are a lot of blank spots. Okay, there we go. I've got all of the blank pixels out of the way and everything looks good. So I'm going to go over it, you know, click fire or click protect alpha and go over it with the hair color. In my palette, I actually have the color that I use most often for my hair saved. So it's usually around this color, but if you guys remember in my shading video that I posted a couple of months ago, one of my first tutorials, it always depends on the mood. So if you can see right here in my layer box over here, this is more of a pinkish tone um, kind of picture. But if I was to change the mood lighting to kind of a more reddish color, let me fix that, I might change the color of the hair. So here... It's still, I mean, I think it looks pretty okay here, just because red is not much different from pink. Maybe I might want to, like, darken it up a bit here. Let's see. Can you tell the difference between these two? Let's see. Yeah, that one's way lighter than the red one. And then again, if I also look at the blue one, and since this is more of a blue tone, I might want to change it to maybe like a more purpley kind of color. So like I said, it all depends on the color and the mood and the lighting. And So this is the blue one, this is the red one, and the pink one. Alright, so for the shading, I am, of course, like I said, my shading for hair is very minimal. Um, I've seen some really, really cool hair coloring styles where it's just the shading is just so crazy cool. But I'm very um, simple with my shading. So I usually shade, of course, the hair that's towards the back or hair that's kind of like on the inside that's kind of like heading towards the back. So this picture probably isn't a very good example just because most of my hair here is in the front. But this hair back here is, of course, in the back. So let me shade that. So see, my shading is very just, it's not a lot of work, honestly. It always depends on the picture and the hairstyle and the character. I usually keep it this simple a majority of the time. Right here, I do like this color for the shading, but as I said in my shading video, it always depends on the lighting. And then for the blue, like I said, I was going to make it to a more purpley color. There we go. So now you can see a bit of a difference in the colors. Let's continue on with coloring hair. Okay, okay, so this is the part where I get the most questions which is how I do that highlight thing that you guys probably see me do a lot so first I click on the selection pen uh, tool <laughs> I get a very uh, big colored big colored big size pen and then I do this it's round like that you don't have to use the pen I think you can use the selection tool right here and then do ellipse and then kind of just do that that would work the same but I don't know I just prefer the pen because I have more control over it so there we go let me fill this in then I'm going to go to the gradient tool and I'm going to do remember to change this from foreground background to just foreground and then I'm going to pick a color that again is lighter than the hair and also fits with the theme so this is pink so I'm going to go with the light pink color and then I'm just going to go down like that and Oops, wait, <laughs> I'm going to make sure it's on a new layer. Notice how last time it was on the same layer. So new layer and then go down like that. I, uh, I think that's pretty good. Let me a little more. And notice how it's also on the outside. That is why you got to put the layer to clipping. And that's how I do the highlight. And I try to make sure it's kind of already fading at this point compared to the top. See, it's way more pink there. Um, compared to the bottom right here and if it's too much like too dramatic I can you know change the opacity you know it's all up to you I mean I don't know maybe I want to put some more saturation into this oh I like that more um, I usually keep it just like this but if you want to kind of soften it up you can go with the blur tool let me see it's right here maybe just like blur it a bit like that see 
You'd have to work it in a lot though. If you want to make it look more like it's blending into it, you just kind of have to work with the, the um, opacity thing. So I'll show you in another one. Let's do red. Actually, let's do blue just because I feel like that would be more a lot more different. So new layer, clipping, and then I'm going to do the thing again. I want to go with a more purpley color. So let's see. I'll go with this for now, but I'm going to change it up later. So last time I did it kind of like that, which made it very um, just kind of two-sided, you know, it doesn't blend very well. So if you want it to blend more, try not to have it reach all the way here. But see, if it's, you can't really see the shape if it doesn't reach all the way. Right there, you can see it looks really nice there. It's very just like blending a bit. Here, it didn't reach the edge, so there's no sharp edge like that. I like sharp edges, so I don't know. It's all, it depends on, you know, your preference. You can also protect alpha and then go with the actual hair color and then go with the airbrush tool. And it's kind of like that. See? So it kind of blends a bit more. Whoops, that's not what I was supposed to do. So you can do that too if you want to just blend it in a bit more. And let's see the difference between the blue and the pink. There you go. Since the eyebrows are at the top and I do the highlighting at the top, the eyebrows are the same color as the highlight. So that's why I like to go over it. So I usually go over it with the shade color because I like to have my eyebrows darker than my actual hair. Again, that's just kind of like a style thing. You can do it the same color as the hair. You can do it a completely different color. It's all up to you and all up to the kind of character you're making or how you look in real life. There are some characters who I put more detail into their hair, which is what I want to show you. But it's not much different. It's all the same thing, honestly. Also, I like to do those little little shines right there. I've done shines a ton of different ways. I do it like this right now, but I've used to do another thing where let me put it to clipping and then get something along the lines of this. And then I would go with the either the eraser tool or just, you know, like that. And then maybe I would like to curve it a bit. Like that, just because heads are kind of curvy. So you should do hair shine like this too. Do whatever fits your style, honestly. So let's go to the next character that has a bit different colored hair, but it's still, it's all the same guys. All my hair looks the same, okay? All right, so here is a, a weird, messy <laughs> doodle of Enoch. And so his hair is just a tiny bit different when I color it, just because uh, for some reason, I really kind of like to show some strands. You know, it's as if he has highlights in his hair. Uh, whether or not they are actually highlights, I'm not really sure, but that's what it looks like. So there you go. So that's his, that's a base color. And you can see right here in his reference, you can see what I'm talking about with the lines. Um, it's not, again, super detailed. It's the way I color hair is very, very plain. To do those kind of highlight things that I do, I like to go, I don't just do lines wherever I want because that doesn't look good. You have to get the point of the hair, which I talked about in my drawing hair tutorial. The point, so right here, this is his point where the little X is, and I draw the strands coming from that. The point is kind of cut off, but his point would be up here, right here. So I would just do that. There we go. And I would just do a bunch of those, and I would try not to overdo it. Okay, so I have all of that done. Um, it's not, again, it's just a bunch of lines. It doesn't really do anything. If you do want to add, to make it look a bit, I don't know, different, sometimes I'll kind of like thicken it towards certain points, so like this. Try to make sure they're not all the same size, because you can see here, it looks super boring when you keep it to the same size. You know, like when you do highlights in real hair, sometimes they kind of clump up together, you know. All right, I'm just gonna keep it like this, just because I'm kind of lazy. Now, I'm gonna get rid of the coloring for this hair. I'm gonna show you how I do multiple colors, kind of. So, let's go to this color, and let's say, so the tips of my hair were this color. color. There we go. Instead of the top, you know, like I, as if I dyed my hair, you know, the tips. What is it called when they be, do that? Again, since my style is very cartoony, I like to keep the edges sharp, but I do kind of like to blend it in. So this is kind of how I start it. Sometimes I like to blend it in by, again, going with the base color and then using the airbrush tool, or I kind of like to use the gradient tool and just go like that. 
that side looks a bit better. And then again, this looks very plain. So I go over it again with an even lighter color. So I'm going to go here and then use the airbrush tool, have it on clipping and then just kind of like work on that. See, there we go. And then I would bring in the highlight and then again, doing the shading, I would go to multiply because there are two different hair shades. And then let's go maybe with this color. Let's see how this would look. See, there we go. So that's another thing I like to do with hair colors when I do that. Um, I do, like I said, I have a character with that kind of hair color. Shay! Where is she? Shay! I can't find her. You guys are gonna have to forgive me. I can't find my daughter. This is what happens when you don't draw your female characters as often as your male characters. Where is she? There she is. As you can see right here. This is a lot more, um, solid? It's a lot, you know, the edges are a lot more solid compared to here. I kind of tried to blend it up just a tiny bit here compared to here. But you can see I did the lighter right here. Very light pink compared to up here. And then I also did what I did with Enoch's hair, which is I did strands. But I also did it in different colors. So let me bring Enoch back. <laughs> I'm just going all over the place today. So you can see here I only did lighter color. Excuse me. Here I only did lighter colors. But sometimes when I'm feeling not as lazy, I also like to go with darker colors. Like this, like that, ooh, like that. <laughs> and that adds a lot to the hair as well. That's how I colored her hair. I did the highlight again, but you can hardly see it because her hair is already really light. Her eyebrows are different than what I used. I, did, I don't think I shaded her hair. I did here a little bit, but you can barely tell. But her eyebrows are a bit like more on the brown side. Um, I do want to say that eyebrow colors and shapes do mean a lot. So I do have a character that I cannot find here. <laughs> Come on, where are my characters? Jules, that's a bad picture of you. I'm not gonna use that one. So his eyebrow color is brown compared to his hair, which is silver, which is supposed to indicate that he actually dyes his hair and just doesn't go as far as dyeing his eyebrows. So yeah, but that's, that's really, all I had to tell you so all right um thank you so much for watching hopefully this was helpful and now you guys know how I color my hair and all that good stuff so yay okay Woo, done with this video this was so long thank you for watching uh take care I love you I love owls uh it feels like autumn I love autumn I have a candle on okay bye I love you bye and this is what happens when you forget to click the clipping option in your layer and so, uh, you have the highlight just blasting off of his head. And that's why I think it's very important for you to pay attention to what you're doing. Or else you're just gonna have to go over it and erase it. You know, erase your mistakes. At least you can erase your mistakes in art. You know, you can't really erase them in real life. Alright. Thanks for watching.